Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 28 to 30 of Bakuman. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 28 and 3, 2, 1, go. Ow. on I mean that's still good though Exactly They both got first I'm still wondering how it's put an honor got first. Exactly. Somewhat, but it's just not satisfying to them as if it was first, you know. Uh. 
<laughs> so fucking cute. You gotta love love. Okay. I mean, but still, that's a good opportunity, though. <laughs> Cody! Damn, just like that. Come here, baby. So mm. <laughs> being a fool in love.
Yeah. When you're that serious and you want to eat, sleep, breathe it, you know. Mm. Okay. I mean, but do you want to interfere into his business? I mean, isn't that a little like? Well, it's it, it depends on the situation. It can be rude, and then at the same time, it can't. a little frustrating mm -hmm. I mean and besides he's outside currently like behind her apartment building drawing in the cold in a park by himself a little bit. Just teeny tiny bit. Yeah, and plus she has the window, the curtains down. Go talk to him. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, but... No, 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 no. I don't think that's really necessary, but... I mean, in a way it is, but she should be the one. But I always not going to do anything. Hmm? Possibly. See, right then and there, if I was her, I would have ran out and been like, okay, look, we're going to work back together. Just please go home. It's pretty. Oh, this is that part in the opening. Yeah, she's finally going to go to him. But it's snowing. Yeah, but okay. We proven he's a man like this. No, that's a BS idea. No. Seriously, just go out there, tell him you want to work back with him, you accept him, and then tell him, go home. Oh my god, you're so fucking hard-headed. I thought I was fucking hard at it. Oh my god. Yes, but if you die in front of her apartment, how he's gonna be pissed? I mean, yes, she's a cold hearted woman, don't get me wrong, but like. <laughs> You got a cold hearted woman and a hard headed man. Just... Mm 
Hmm. I thought I called you to get somebody else. How the fuck could something go from, like, okay, yeah, but let's go ahead and talk about this. How could something go from first to this to third to ninth? Let me not even ninth, eighth. Mm -hmm. That's one. Oh my god, this might, we might get another depressed, like, moment for the next two episodes. I don't want that. But with the way that just ended, it could be anything. But thank god Augie finally went up to him. It's like, she's sorry, da 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 you can come in the house, this is that and the third. Because she was really about to let him be in the cold during a really bad snowstorm and possibly die. Like, if it got to that point, whoa, that would have been a heartless woman. Like, uh, oh, God. A heartless, emotionless, non-carefree woman. And there are still, there are women out there in real life like that who don't really give, what the heck is that on my leg? <laughs> give a shit about people. And, and, oh, God. But thank God that she finally did it, because I think if she did, if she didn't, I think my, like, <sighs> interpretation of her, I probably, because I, I already like her. I've liked her from, like, ever since she's came into the show. Probably this maybe would have, made like, immediately dislike her if she would have left him out in the cold. I mean, you know, for four whole days, technically five he was out in the cold, but because of the fact is of a snowstorm being as bad as it was, and she keeps looking out, like, if it was me, once he almost got his butt kicked, I would have been out there and been like, no, okay, this is what we need to do. You're just going to come inside, stay here for the night, don't go home, warm yourself up, and you can still work yourself to the bone in a place that's warm instead of being outside in the cold and expecting her to just immediately be there for you. But, I mean, at the same time, that's dedication. When you're eating, breathing, and sleeping it, 
you don't care about what in the world is going on, what the weather is like. I hell, I can't even imagine if it was raining. That would be, <laughs> woo, that would be really, really crazy. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode twenty nine. Okay, episode twenty nine and three, two, one, go. There's still something in my effing eye. Oh my god. I mean, but wouldn't you be depressed about that? I mean, I would. You say that. Yeah, so what you gonna do about that? <laughs> Hell, I would be down too. I mean, <sighs> that's like, oh god, I hate, I hate to compare this to YouTube again, but I always do. Oh god, that reminds me of when I first started and how I hated. Hated so so much. Now I'm like I really don't care about it. Um, when you start YouTube out, and when you are someone who was very obsessive with numbers, and you're looking at your subscriber count, your view count, anything, um, comments, how many comments a video gets every single week, every day, whatever, it gets to a point where you are very you get hella obsessive with that. And me getting to my first 100, uh, I think, like, I got to 100. Oh, God, when the hell did I get to 100? I think, like, by Christmas of 2016. Um, and, like, I tell everybody, that was the hardest thing to do because I, I think on that journey, I was very close, <laughs> so freaking close to just dropping and saying, fuck it. Because I was so upset when people would unsubscribe, da, 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 this is that and the third and everything else. But if I had not kept going, even with all the copyright strikes and everything else that came my way, um, I wouldn't be here. So it's just a challenge that everybody has to face. And you're going to have a moment where, yeah, you're going to be hella depressed about something. Trust me, I have with fucking YouTube. I've cried over it because of you two. Ninth is great, but it ain't first. But in your eyes, it's not. Trust me, I I've been there. Mm hmm. You know, because you never know it might pick back up.
See, this is the reason why we should just say what I had today. I'm just saying. You know, sometimes you have to put your foot down and say something. This is that time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because you just got recently into it, so of course, you're going to have some doubts. <laughs> What's the number? Seriously?
Exactly. Yeah, but, because there is a but. Exactly. Hell, encourage them to do better. Strive for their dreams. Like, oh my God. Baby got on his first day. It's so cute.
But what if it gets canceled? Mm -hmm. And that's basically a straight way to depress him. Because with that, you're so obsessive about becoming the best and everything that, you know, you get blinded by it and everything that you make is sort of half ass. Exactly, so maybe just like hold on to it. It is. That's a good question. Even though they're different and they're not what specifically Jack is for, it's still good. Hell, it's like doing the same thing with fucking YouTube. It's, you know, you can be doing this, and then you can go here, and then you can go fucking anywhere.
I seriously have my doubts, Amiota. Because, I mean, with the way he thinks, like, at first I'm like, <laughs> he's like, no, I don't want him in this group. Like, no, I'll take Hatsune. But you know what? Now I'm kind of eating my words right now. I mean, the way that he thinks it is very similar to, like, what other people in my past have told me specifically when it comes to YouTube and as the things that I said in the beginning of this episode and such. When you pay attention to numbers, subscriber count, view count, anything, you get too obsessive by it. Trust me, I know I was there in my first my first year or like the first six months, I was really much like that. And so now as someone who has done it for like almost six, maybe seven years, coming back to it and looking how I was in the beginning to now, I look more as not, I don't look at the view count, I don't look at the ratings, I don't look at the subscription count anymore. I look at the connection that I have with someone because as I've told my mom, my dad, family members, friends, I'm like, it's like this. You get one shot, one little shot to make a connection with somebody in a video to, you know, sometimes have a smile, but then sometimes like maybe even like a word that I say or maybe the way I word something. Yeah, not everybody's going to agree with on and, and I'm totally OK with that because whatever I say, I might be good with it, but you might not agree with it or you may agree with it. And that is OK. We are human. We're going to say whatever the heck we feel about and how what how in the world we're going to word it. Yeah, there are some people who don't like me, you know, I, <laughs> I don't really want to talk about this, but I think I am. Um, I've met some people or some trolls who don't like me because, number one, I am a girl. Some people don't like me because of the color of my skin um, and my personality and this is that and the third. I have been called the meanest things that you could ever call somebody um, on the internet. I have been not degraded or railed or anything, um, but I've always had, I've even had like, oh God. I had two, oh, okay, two different people, and I'm gonna, I think they're maybe probably both subscribed to me. One who I consider somewhat like of a friend, where one series I did, um, and this was, when did that show come out? 20, 2017? 27, it had to be early 2017. Um, I missed, no, I didn't miss something. I, I didn't talk about something until the end because they kept mentioning on and on. But I was like, let me go ahead and I'm finally ask this question. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you the hint of the show. <laughs> Saga is talking the evil. Um, even though my reaction is nowhere on this channel because, of course, YouTube was idiots and, you know, lost my channel. And da, 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 da. But there was a word that kept popping up and I kept seeing and seeing it. And so finally, I decided to go ahead and talk about it right then and there. And I remember in my comments, everybody was like, why did you wait until this point to talk about it? I was like, because I felt like it. I kept trying to figure out what it was in my own head before I was finally like, you know what? Let me go ahead and ask about it. So this one person, let's call him, let's call him Steve. Uh, I think this was maybe almost like probably about a month or two after a, a Saga of Italian the Evil was officially done with season one. And they came in and said something that was really like kind of mean and I get it because you know, ish, you're going to be mean, you know, because he told me he had a bad day. That's what I found out by the final episode because he watched every single reaction video with the episode and then the final episode came out and then he told me he was like, oh, I had a bad day that day, da 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 and I decided to take it out on you. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, but I didn't say anything back to him like when I saw that first post and such. But then when he finished it, he was like, there was a point where you kind of stopped asking um, for like, quote unquote, help or something. I don't really remember what the heck it was. And you were like figuring it out on your own. And I was like, well, yeah, I was like, I have to because I can't be like, oh, okay. Da -da 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 
da-da-da, this is that and the third, bullshit, 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 da-da-da, whatever. Because in the way, I have to interpret, <laughs> interpret what the heck I think is going to happen next. And this is that and the third. And he was like, okay, I like that about you. And I'm thinking like, okay, thanks, I guess. Like, yeah, you know, you gave me a compliment, but then you also did something else at the same time. You were still mean about it, but okay, thank you, I guess. Got you. And then we go into last Friday. Um, I got something on. <laughs> um, we're going to call this one. We'll call him Larry. Um, Larry sent me something. And th this was just about. Uh, and this reminded me of another guy or person who was like, oh, hey, you should do this and this and that and the third. And we all know the situation with me, like what I do in the beginning, what I did in the beginning in 2016, where I used to show the episode to the point where when I did Little Witch Academia, I showed the whole thing. Got a big, huge copyright strike for that. Had to drop, essentially, Little Witch Academia for three whole months, I believe, until I was able to pick it back up. Then I covered everything. Every single video was covered with, like, either pictures, um, concept art, or, like, something that was featured from the anime or like merch art or whatever so that I wouldn't get in trouble and stuff and I was okay with that and people were okay with that too then we got to like following years where I was like the overlay of covering it and then I always heard people say like oh I don't want to see your her face um <laughs> because I don't really want to I don't really give a shit about you I just want to see the fucking episode so now it's kind of the same thing, but it's kind of worse because of the fact is not, <laughs> it, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation because you never truly know, like, whatever's going to work for person A is not always going to work for person B. So let's say person A shows the whole entire episode with, like, um, the vault, the, the freaking audio and everything, and they, they just show everything, right? And they don't get a copyright strike. And let's say me, being person B, does the exact same thing but tweaks it just a bit. 50 out of 50, I'm going to be the one to get the fucking copyright strike while person A over here gets to go away scot-free. But people get mad at me because of the fact is I don't show anything. And so now it's like when you're thinking, okay, should I show this? Should I show that? How in the world am I supposed to do so many different things? And this makes me want to do a video on this. <laughs> How in the world am I supposed to continue on as someone who had 10, who, who got to 10K subscribers and who was trying to get there again? But you have people who are saying, oh, you should do this, this, that, and the third. When you have too many people giving you suggestions and saying that you should do this and you should do that and da-da-da, this, is that, and the third, you're losing what is, what's, like, the most important thing to you. And to me, like I said, is connection. Yes, I don't get subscribers every single fucking day like I used to. I don't even get a lot of comments as I used to. But does it piss me off? Yeah, it does a little bit. I think at the beginning when I, when, you know, having to redo my channel for the third fucking time, um, it does. But I've met guys who had to do it six, seven, eight times even more than me. And they still have that passion and dedication. So at the end of the day, it shouldn't fucking matter if... Person A, person B, Larry, Steve, whoever fucking comes up to me and says, oh, maybe you should do this. Oh, maybe you should do that. It's not always about that. It's about what the fuck you want to do as a person. You do something because you fucking love it and you fucking enjoy it. I'm trying not to cry right now. It's such a I can't feel myself crying. But it's just, you don't. Oh, God, I'm getting angry with this. Just focus on you. Fuck the haters. And focus on you. That's all I gotta say. Focus on you. Do not always have people suggest what you think you should do. In your mind, you know what you should do. And stuff. Whether you are creating a YouTube channel, writing a book, creating a manga, um, screenwriting something. It is always nice to have someone like look at your work and ask like oh hey like is this good is that good whatever but 
sometimes you have to stay in your own fucking lane and not to have others like in your way. And sometimes it is okay, but then at the same time, it's not because you don't want too many people telling you this is that and third because the next thing you know, so many years later, you look down back at the road and you're like, damn, you regret something. And you're like, maybe I shouldn't have done that, you know? But yeah. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 30. <laughs> okay, episode 30 and three, two, one, go. I know, right? Oh. Are you getting skinnier or fatter? Did lose weight. Yeah, but I'm worried about that. Something about that isn't right. Oh God, we're we're going into a way. Oh God. Oh God. No. 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 <laughs> I don't want this. No. Oh my God. Please don't do this. Like seriously mm -mm. Mm -mm. no 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 please no oh my god if it's gonna go the route that i think it is hmm. pretty here just did this last week with a rewatch freaking pretty yes pretty here five and uh, if they're going this route like oh god it's gonna probably make me sad oh my god Well, of course. I mean, you know, he used to work with them. I mean, hell, if I was them, I'd be hella worried every single fucking week. I get it. Same. Also, like, interesting plot and backstory. You know, sometimes, like I said in a video, it's personality.
Exactly. So you really shouldn't try to do that. Because if you do, you're going to fuck it up. Exactly. Are you going to figure something out in six hours? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh god. Babe, no. I, I mean... Uh... Yeah. I mean, it's a brilliant idea. Say that, but the next thing you know, it gets really too cocky. You don't want to be like that. Yeah, I got a little too cocky.
Mm. You need sleep. Yeah, look at your pants. No, of course not. No. <laughs> Should at least get sleep though. Okay, but please get some sleep.
Seriously? I thought he was fired. <laughs> That's fine. Coffee is coffee.
he's here. We're really ending the final episode of this week with this. Oh my god, no, I can't do this. I can't. No, 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 no. My son, my baby boy, I need him. It, take him to the effing hospital! This is what happens. This is why you have to have a good sleeping schedule. Hell, I, I'm the one talking because I ain't got the best sleeping schedule because I go to bed in like the wee hours of the freaking morning and I'm up like, now. Nah, what time did I wake up today? I woke up at like 10 and so you know how it's very important to get 7 to 8 hours of sleep and sometimes it is hard when you are a night owl. I like to be, I'm usually up until like the wee hours in the morning and then I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up like maybe between 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon and then get my day started. That's why mostly all my videos like to come out late and such because of how I go to sleep and stuff. But sometimes I can't sleep. And it's really important to get sleep, eat well and it's so that nothing happens to you. Machido is like, I hope he's okay. I don't need anything to happen to him. He's my baby boy. Oh my God. No. Don't do this. I swear to God. Like, oh my god, are you okay? Why did you do that to yourself? Da 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 da. Because you know that's a protective girlfriend. That's what you do. And, and you know, you scold him. Like, you don't do this, this, that, and the third. You make sure you get enough sleep. You get enough eat. And it's, and you take your time. Like, I swear to God. And then, yeah, I'm talking to the rest of y'all too. Do the exact same thing. Make sure you eat enough. And make sure you drink enough. And make sure you sleep enough. Those are the most three important things. Do not over, like, sleep or eat or whatever make sure well uh, make sure that you're healthy especially with like some of the situations that have happened i mean recently we just like we're losing people to so many different things left right and center with everything that's currently going on in the world and so make sure that you're healthy and you're happy and you're stable please make sure that you're okay your health and your well-being comes first no matter what. Make sure you eat. Make sure you sleep and everything else. Please. Like, I swear to God. I'm not saying this to say this. I'm saying it because your life is very important and it matters and such. Yes, it's nice to be distracted by everything else. But just don't forget to do other things that are very important. And it's like, I haven't eaten yet. And it's now 3.09. I still have, like, one more Patreon show thing to do. Plus, I gotta wake up my mom. Um, and such. But I think I'm going to eat first before I, um, watch my next two Patreon shows and then be done for the day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 28 to 30 of Bakuman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 31 to 33. Bye, guys.